three, two. Hey everyone, it's Konami Ai and Kajikero, and welcome to Kwai Ko. Ko. So, uh, welcome to our very first podcast. Uh, we have decided since we literally have the most opposite schedules ever that we were going to do something a little easier. Um, it's like where we don't have to, uh, put on makeup. (laughs) Yeah. We don't have to put on makeup. I can just throw up a nice little image, right? I'll I'll do it right here of us probably in makeup and smiling and (laughs) looking cool right now. It's like a million degrees outside right now. And, uh, we're roasting. Yeah, it's very, very hot outside. I keep imagining that it might just be the sun knocking on our door, but it's just the weather, and it's pretty upsetting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really ridiculous out here. Um, so yeah, I know we've been MIA for a little while, a lot, a while. It's I think been like a year. I think so too. Like I know that I updated. Well, I put in those mobile games that I was playing. Right. Uh, just kind of like to tide us over. Yeah, and I'm a uh, technology impaired. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but you know what's it's funny too is a lot of people assume that uh, Kaiju and I actually like live far away from each other, which is a, a discernible reason as to why perhaps maybe we haven't been able to upload. We actually live in the same house. Uh, yeah, I live upstairs. She lives downstairs, and we just have extremely opposite work schedules so when she comes home from work i'm asleep and it just keeps going like that day in and day out the summer that we were able to like record stuff was crazy like it was just very easy um like our schedules were mine was a lot more open i didn't have a full-time job and um she was able to like i used to live closer to her work so she was able to come over um but now it's we live in the same goddamn house and we uh we can never seem to nope yeah hey you want to get some lunch oh no i'm actually at work for the next two days (laughs) so i mean that aside though i'm really glad that like this idea might work because if it does it's easy to grab like 30 to 45 minutes even an hour of just like talking to each other and um podcasts seem to be like a really good way to just chill and talk about stuff so yes mm-hmm. and you won't have to see my face react very poorly to very subtle things <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's that bad uh losing my entire um neckline <laughs> is usually not very complimentary <laughs> like people are like oh this is a earthworm <laughs> oh my god oh my god yeah so i got a couple mics we just i mean it's not the most advanced setup in fact like just putting this together right now was i thought it took like a long time but she thinks i think it was truthfully like 15 maybe 20 minutes just trying to figure out the settings so we wouldn't hear ourselves over and over again or not hear ourselves at all or like the fuzz or the screech of silent hill horns (laughs) (laughs) something like that so like the microphones being so close to the the screen and also really close to where we're recording every time you turn one of them on next to each other it was like (laughs) it was like scary i was like "Uh oh uh wallpaper is gonna start peeling back we gotta hit the deck (laughs) it's gonna be diarrhea all over the walls (laughs) Is uh, that is that a feature? No, in the no, it's like the, you know how it turns it's like, like rust, blood red, yeah, like yeah, rust. It's, it's fucking. What silent hill did you go to? Mine was much more cleanly. <laughs> oh my god, it's not clean no one over there. It's not clean. I know, but I'm just saying. Oh, that was great. That was a bad visual. I'm so sorry for that. It sounds like a kindergarten bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> like that's your silent hill. <laughs> so speaking of being really sick, uh, this last week. Um, I had some serious pains in my tum tum. Like, I don't know what was going on. Um, I've been like downing Pedialyte, like there's no tomorrow. And you know, what they say is like totally true. The electrolytes and everything in them, like Gatorade can kiss my ass because that stuff is great. We're drinking Gatorade now. I like Gatorade, but Pedialyte is amazing. I don't know what was going on. Um, the doctor was like, oh, well, you might have a hole in your um, your intestines. You might have gallstones. You might have swallowed pennies. You might. 
die. Not really, but like I went in for an ultrasound. I went, uh, I had two rounds of ultrasounds, two EKGs and two, um, what do you call them? Uh, x-rays. And, uh, it was, I really was scared that something crazy was going to happen, but, um, I'm feeling better. It's like a weird rolling pain, but it's, it's much better now. So yay for that. I'm, I'm really glad that I'm like getting better. I'm healthy. Just bitch. <laughs> just I'm just saying I have not been weight. in the hospital as of recent. So, um, I'm drinking Gatorade and enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Plus we're like sweating profusely every day. So there's no way that like <laughs> anything can just stay, stay in our in. system. Yeah. It's coming out. Yeah. Like I washed my bed sheets today, uh, for the first time in a week I was living what in what did I call it? Um, what was I living? In? What was my room? Oh, a, a uh, homeless camp. Yeah. So <laughs> I when I when I'm sick, I'm a baby, and I just don't do shit. So I like I sat there and I let everything just pile up, and I was living in like a homeless encampment. No, no offense to homeless people out there. Yeah, it's very sad that they have to go through that. But she should have had uh, yellow tape across the door, <laughs> being like, "Hey, it's a biohazard. It's dangerous." Please back up. Don't do your laundry down here right now. It's going to spread. It's an infection. It's downstairs for a reason. Oh I don't know if it's that bad, but it was definitely bad. Not anymore. It's not that bad anymore. Yeah, I'm in the room. I'm currently living, so it's okay. Okay, well, um, I had made my bed like a couple weeks ago, and I had just like, I washed everything, and it felt really nice, and I like, I crawled into bed, and it was nice and comfy, and the next morning... I like woke up drenched in sweat and I was like, what the hell? Like, why? <laughs> why? Like, I'm just, I'm trying to live my life here. Apparently still trying to live my 2017 life in 2018. Right. Which is a mistake. Yeah. It's, it's seven months <coughs> in. I should probably, should probably move on with that. <laughs> but you have a hack. Uh, you sleep on the floor. Yeah. I sleep on the floor, but I also have an upstairs bedroom and a loft bed because I'm apparently eight so <laughs> <laughs> the heat does not help when I gotta sleep up high so I gotta get real creative and sleep down low yeah. and it's still sweltering mm -hmm. like the sun's looking me in the face and I'm like I can't defeat you and it says I know roast like a little bug <laughs> have fun in there <laughs> plus our house retains heat like no other I but feel like we're uh in a dehydration box for, for like, <laughs> like meat the, oh i was gonna say bananas but, but yeah. yeah like so they're like human jerky sounds great that's where people jerky comes from is our house because we're <laughs> fucking frying so yeah zombie apocalypse come here for some people jerky i'm i'm pretty sure my skin is leathery enough already you can probably take a few bites out right now with all the sweat that is coming off of me it is definitely definitely drying me out i'll probably be good in a couple of days marinating in it oh god i wonder what flavor i might be would it be like salsa because i've eaten so much chips and salsa right now i'd probably taste a bit like i have a fruit flavor because of all of the pedialyte that i've been drinking is it fruit flavored yeah it's it's like mixed fruit um yeah mixed fruit <laughs> <laughs> oh so you have no uh definite fruit you might taste like just a just a <laughs> fruit <laughs> just, just a combo oh my god all right <laughs> um so oh my god i was gonna ask you something and i can't oh i was gonna say one of the great things about podcasts is we really don't have to edit uh, i'm not editing this i don't have to edit it i just i get to say what we want we get to do whatever we want we if there's like a long run on sentence that's just bullshit, I'll probably leave it out. But for the most part, we get to say stuff and and Kaiju is a swearer, so Yeah, I have a voracious potty, potty mouth. mouth. <laughs> so it's good though, because podcasts, uh, they don't regulate that stuff. Uh so when I stick this up online, we can say all the profanities we want, and... I mean, honestly, I did that anyway. Like, when we're playing Yoshi's <laughs> Wooly World, I can't even say the word together, <laughs> World, <laughs> um, I was just like, you know what, this might be a kid's game, but I'm gonna play like an adult. <laughs> so, and then there's me, because I have, I'm, like, I have Konami Eye, which Konami Eye, if you guys don't know, is my other channel. Uh, I, what I What I view it as is... Um, if you guys know YouTubers who are like 
part of a group or like they're coupled up. So I'm going to use like Wenji and Max of uh, Reacticorns as my example. So Reacticorns, it's, it's Wenji and her husband Max and they react to stuff together and they do challenges together and and Wenji has her own channel set aside from that. So that's kind of like me with um, Konami Ai and Kawaii Ko is Konami Ai is me. That's my brand. That's who I am. Um, but Kawaii Ko is kind of like the the group project and what's i don't know kind of a double-edged sword is that on konami i i was for a small bit last year uh before i rescinded it was i was child approved like for the kids app on youtube no and um so there was like all these rules they sent me like this email that was just like thank you miss i for all of the like contributions to the youtube children's app and i was like I didn't sign up for this, but what? And it's like, like my approval rating for children was higher. Um, that was back when I was doing the, the subscription boxes, but I didn't swear. And like, there wasn't anything in it that was, I guess, adult. So they just were like, yeah, we're going to throw this on the kids app. And I hope that's okay with you. And I was like, do I get extra money? And they were like, no. So I was like, Peace out. Bye. Um, but I, I kind of like tried to uphold that on Kawaii KO. I was just kind of like, what? Yeah, really? Because like, I, I would. Barely... Oh, my God. I was the bad guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, mean, I mean, did you I, not notice? No. Well, I mean, OK, I didn't realize that you were like, I'm going to be the hero in this situation. I and I was like, motherfucker, get ripped. But I never <laughs> like I don't think I swore. I was just like. I mean, we said some things. <laughs> I remember I was going to come up with like a like a do not do board. Like, yes. Um, and I was like, I don't know if I can abide by that. I just say what I say. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bullshit. 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 So um, what was I going to ask you? I keep. Oh, so this first podcast, I think we kind of glossed over like what's been going on with us, but, um, what, what do you think, what do you think we're going to be doing with the channel? If anything, uh, just like the YouTube channel in general. Yeah. Like with the videos and the talking and the playing the games that, or like just Kawaii KO as a, as a thing in general. Um, well, I would like to think that we will hopefully continue the videos someday but at this time we are two very hard-working adults trying to survive in a very very fucked up world <laughs> so um if that comes back i would love that but like i said our schedules are so messed up that it doesn't seem very plausible a podcast for the rest of eternity would be fine because that way, if this somehow continues into the next millennia, because we will be alive, oh. <laughs> um, no one can tell how much I've aged. <laughs> like, my voice will have changed, but not by much, because I don't smoke. <laughs> but if I were to have myself on film or video for a long time, I would look back at myself and think, wow, at one point, I wasn't as chubby. At one point, I wasn't as greasy. I wasn't as slimy. I wasn't all these disgusting features I will see eventually in the future. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so I really hope that it continues to develop or at least be a thing just because it's fun, it's entertaining, and I get to be with one of my friends. Yay. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like in some way we will be part of a media setting, but I just don't know how. Like, I don't want to quit. I don't think it's like, oh, it's a bad idea. We should stop. It's just time. Time is so precious, and, like, making money sucks. Like, what the heck? I work so hard to get such little payoff. Oh, my God. I know. Like, nowadays... Oh my god. Like I don't I really I'm I'm really really envious of like all the YouTubers and and the people. Like I don't want to say that I'm jealous cuz oh, I'm jealous. I'll say I, it. <laughs> I mean, as truthful as it is, like I don't want to be like I'm so jealous of A B C and D. It's, it's I was like, like is that a channel? <laughs> no. No, but it's like it's like being jealous of of uh like Yaya Han or Jessica Negri for being good cosplayers and getting in at the right moment right it's kind of like the same thing but different with 
YouTube, there's so much going on behind the scenes. And a lot of it is time. Like you said, like editing takes time and like just filming the shit takes time. So when we are like very limited on time and then we have to wake up in the morning, it's like, I don't want to do it. Okay, so I'm going to just be like, I'm insanely jealous of kids that just like pop up out of nowhere and they're like, oh, this kid's so rebellious and funny. They're nine and swearing up a storm and throwing money. And I'm like, what? Where am I? Why am I not nine? Right. Oh my God. <laughs> like, it makes me frustrated that kids that do not need the money somehow are now billionaires I'm like that's great for their future but where was i i'm working so hard to pay a bill <laughs> right and i know that there's youtubers out there that are like i definitely paid my dues and i stayed up late and i did and that's totally like 100 percent true guys like um peanut butter gamer chad tronic i feel like they pay their dues they definitely like went through the mud to be where they are now <laughs> and like very proud of them i i love both of them and i think that they're great influences not only like for youtube but for for us too it just when i see creators like that who have done something and good and they had to work for it it just makes me want to work harder but at the same time i'm a human and i suck i get sleepy i get tired i get depressed i have anxiety and so like when i am editing a video and i'm just like this is shit like <laughs> you're like wow we're not funny yeah we, we got it we're done we are fucking done but um i think i remember telling kaiju a long time ago like um who swing point uh mike he told me once he was just like it's really important to continue to make content. You might not think it's the best, but you just have to keep going. You just have to keep posting and, and people will respect that and people will respond to that. And sometimes it'll suck and sometimes people will be angry, but like let them just let them be whatever. And I was like, yeah, if we're going to create so much content. I'm going to put it online, whatever. And one of the things that kept me going is accountability is with with Kaiju, at least it's like the accountability that she's my right hand man. She's the second person in this group. And so she contributed her time. So I kind of owe it to her to put it up. But on my own stuff, like with Konami, I I'm totally slacking because I'm just like, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> it's just me. It's, It'll be okay. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But, like, I don't know. Um, at, at some point, like, there are times where I am editing our videos and I'm like, this one. Okay, so, for example, we have, like, three episodes of Yoshi's Woolly World that I have not edited. And one of them is because, is the best one. But it's it's it's, no. it's called the Legend of Scuddy Lumpus, and you guys, I swear to God, I love this episode more than anything in the world. But the reason that it's so hard for me is because we do two things, and this is our podcast, so I can say this shit. So, one, we like slam on <laughs> Solange Knowles, but we don't actually know her, so we just kind of make fun of like shit we do know right the second thing is scuddy lumpus like this legend that we came up with which is fucking amazing by the way <laughs> is it though <laughs> it's hilarious it's hilarious it came from a misheard sentence <laughs> yeah even a year later it's still amazing to me um but we came up with that during an off play so we had already completed the level and i was gonna go back and just like go back and do the level again to finish it and yet we come up with this golden fucking episode, but I can't put it out because it's the way that I played it was so lame all the way up until the point of Scuddy Lumpus. I mean, the only way that I could have done it is to like 
do the whole episode and then add Scuddy Lumpus in later or just do the Scuddy Lumpus thing, which is only about four minutes long. And yeah, so it's basically like a reshoot with really good commentary. Yeah. So it's just like, oh yeah, we're going back to get another flower or another fucking whatever it is. Yeah. And it's like, hey, um, I didn't hear quite what you said, so I'm going to roll with the punches yeah. and make a whole urban legend that I just, I just got to get out. Even a song was in there. It was great. It was I, great. I don't know if it's like actually great to anyone else. <laughs> it's actually fucking amazing. Uh, like I, I can't imagine it being like only <laughs> great to like <laughs> most people. <laughs> like it's probably just great to us. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I mean, if we enjoy it and that's what we got out of it, then I had still had a good time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> So I think the last time we were on like a video, we had said like we're going to PAX, and it's so funny oh. because <laughs> oh, PAX is three weeks away. <laughs> we're actually going to PAX in three fucking weeks, you guys. This is so insane. Oh my god! We're yeah, that was our last um, picture post too oh, at yeah. the Bioshock party. Oh yeah, Bioshock. That was such a good party. That was really fun. Like I think the environment was really good. Um, we looked really great. Like our friends looked freaking excellent. And the fact that we were like, oh, a cosplay gets us in without standing in this atrocious line. Let's Weird. do it. Let's do it. And yeah. then we. So you had yours already made. Yeah, I made mine last year because for some reason I thought it was a good idea. It's because I can predict the future. <laughs> she. We're going to get to that. Oh, God. We should... That's going to be a thing for, like, a future podcast. Oh, my God. Let me write that down. <laughs> um, but you had made yours the year before, and then I just got a wild hair up my ass, and I was like, I want to cosplay. I do this every year, too. Literally every year. Like, a month before PAX. I'm like, I guess we can... I guess I should make a costume. So then I made one. I made a little sister from, but it was from Bioshock 2, but I guess it still counts. I mean, honestly, a little sister is a little sister. Like, you make a costume, you throw your hair up, you put some wacky makeup on, and you roll on in. Um, I think you actually decided to make the costume when the party was announced. <laughs> and uh, it says, cosplayers get in first. And we were like, oh yeah, we're not leaning to that fucking line. Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be uh, taking advantage of this. Oh, and we did. Yes. Oh, yeah, we did. Holy shit. Okay, so we saw some of our friends in line <laughs> and they weren't they were not dressed up like it's a sin of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember one of them saying <laughs> I just gave, I just gave her this wink. She's never going to she's never going to hear this. So I you know, <laughs> I did no, I okay. dare. But she was just like Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna cosplay, and we were just like, "Well, you didn't." We well, didn't. Okay, <laughs> so you get to suffer outside in this horrible weather. It wasn't actually bad weather that night. I just remember seeing the line wrap around the building and thinking, either this is going to be the biggest party of packs, or there, a lot of people thought like they needed to be here because we weren't the only cosplayers. No, we weren't the only cosplayers. But from what we were informed, was they wanted a lot of cosplayers in the building to kind of enhance the environment of actually being uh in the game so they had like some normal people and then tons of cosplayers so those normal people got a lot of um a lot of in-depth feel of how it is to be surrounded by gremlins <laughs> <laughs> um also they gave away a lot of free stuff including the game so that was really neat Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I got out. I got a. <laughs> I think I got a pen that was like a syringe. A right? syringe. Yeah. And you got? Did you get one of the plushes? Yes, I got one of the plushes. Um, after one of our friends basically helped ambush the woman. <laughs> Do you remember that? Thank you. Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm -hmm. He always gets everything. We have a friend. Oh. We have a friend who can at any at any convention get to like the front of any line, like schmooze anybody who works there, get as many free t shirts, codes, whatever as possible. I don't know what this kid has or if he's like magic, but 
he he can get anything and everything all the time. So you remember like uh, Jackie Chan Adventures with the talisman? Yeah. He has the talisman of luck in his pocket. Yeah. Like that's what I'm assuming because as long as I've known him, he's worn the same pants and that has it in the pocket. <laughs> 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 that's not true, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I like to I like to roll with what I think would be a good story. <laughs> um, yeah. He, so I remember the first packs I went to with him. He like. He got in the front of the line and then got all these free t-shirts, brought them back for the entire, like, crew that was in our hotel room. Then he got, like, free drinks and brought, like, and I'm talking, like, Starbucks. Like, he brought them back for us. And then, like, he won this, like, gaming setup, right? And I was like, okay, well, that's crazy. This kid is just lucky. So then next PAX, and I think it was, I I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but he had won the evil within 2 bethesda special edition custom made playstation 4 pro that was 2017 okay he also won the cloud nine gaming chair yep he also won a bunch of um like he won a headset i think and then he some got, other shit he got everything at the bioshock party except for the pen he got the plush he got the game he got the soundtrack he got everything in the party available but the syringe pin. I'm I'm literally like It was pretty amazing. Like this is one of those instances where I'm like, oh man, I'm incredibly jealous. But I mean, not all of us are um, wearing the same pants with a luck talisman in the pocket. There you go. <laughs> so there's <laughs> that's what you gotta do in order to win at life, guys. Uh get that talisman and stick it in your pocket and never change. Here's the address. <laughs> Wouldn't that be really bad if I've been talking, but it's just a mute sound? No, 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 no. I was checking to see because your waveforms are so much bigger than mine. It's because I'm too close to the mic. No, it's because your gain is up and mine was down. So I'm going to be a little quieter for the beginning of this podcast, but honestly, I don't give a fuck because this is the first one and nobody listens to the first one until they get famous. Oh, yeah. They're like, how did they do in the beginning? So, okay. Not no lie, no Tino shade. I went to Jenna Marbles and Julian Salamata's first um, podcast, right? And I think it's it's the second like most viewed or whatever on their channel, right? Because it's iconic. It's like what was the first thing that they did, and then this is what I was, right? It was not terrible, to be honest with you. Like watching or listening to it was great. Um, Eventually, I think it would be kind of cool to do kind of like they do. Um, them in H three H three, they have um, cameras watching. And they I have know, cameras watching. Yeah, I know the point of like the podcast is not to do that, but okay. So imagine cameras watching us now. Uh, hi, no one's gonna want to see us. <laughs> okay, that's not what I'm saying, but it does add a bit of like familiar they're like how do these people break into this house with this equipment and just make a podcast that's the real mystery and enticement oh my god <laughs> no i like you'll you'll have to see it to understand because then later it just becomes kind of like a meme in in and of itself like ah. jenna's tur- slowly turning into a human blanket like she's just covering herself up in layers and just like oh and her dog's always with her dog Kermie. Kermie. but it like I obviously I'm thinking so far into the future. I always do that. And then I'm like, no, I have to be, I have to bring myself back down to earth. You have to be patient. Yeah, because if I don't, then. You have to be a cocoon before a fucking butterfly. (laughs) That's what I'm saying is like, I, I know that nobody's going to like listen to, well, I I shouldn't say nobody. People will listen to this, obviously, like most likely like our friends or whatever. (laughs) Maybe not. (laughs) Hey, listen to this podcast. Yeah, fuck off. (laughs) Okay, uh, well, that, that, (laughs) all right, don't then. (laughs) But, like, um, it'll be small, right? Right. So, in comparison to, like, I don't know, that's why, like, I'm not worried about saying anything for this first one, because I'm just like, who's gonna listen? Yeah, but remember, there's been a lot of things in the news lately where people are going back ten years to get celebrities in trouble. That's true. So, this might be... A pretty good podcast because uh, we're great people, and um, I want to say that all people are great. <laughs> That's a nice little cover up there. I'm just saying, like when they go back ten years from now, they're gonna be like, "Oh, she said all people were great." 
She can't possibly be a terrible person. She says the F word sometimes, but I can't hold her accountable for that. Every people is great. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> every people is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That's great. Yeah, no, I, I think that's so weird lately how people are doing that. Like, destroying people's lives based on something that they said 10 years ago. Like, do you think that that's something that people should do? I, I think it's like on a case by case basis. If you're a terrible person and you and you say something in the past and they're bringing it up to like, I don't know, like to show, yes, they're still a terrible person, then yeah, go for it. But if you've genuinely like made amends to make yourself better or like fix what it was that people didn't like about you and then they go back 10 years and they're like, oh, they said the N word in a podcast. Like, OK, good. Like. You, you called them out for something that they did that was bad, but they probably apologize for it and they probably aren't that person anymore. Um, so I like to always look at this in the way of, holy crap, would anyone like me if they based me off of my like 12 year old self? Think about that. Like, oh my God, <laughs> I would never have a job ever if they were like, okay, so we're going to do some background checks all the way back until you were in sixth grade. And I'd be like, oh, no, I've done so many bad things in sixth grade because I was an idiot. <laughs> like, like, for one thing, I wore um, some weird ass cargo pants every day, a bad fashion statement, uh, a middle part. Yep. And a polo shirt because I was like, what do girls wear? <laughs> like, and it still wasn't it. <laughs> like, so... <laughs> I mean, I don't want people to go back and judge me off of something I did when I was a literal child. I don't want them to try to become my friend based off of who I was when I was 12. (laughs) That's that's not a good idea. And I'm actually surprised people became my friend when I was 12. I would have dumped me in a ditch. (laughs) Okay, well, I mean, you obviously weren't that bad of a person. You probably were ugly. (laughs) You probably had friends that were just like you. (laughs) Also ugly. <laughs> no, no. Any any of Kaiju's friends that are listening <laughs> to this who are still her friends after being her friends when she was twelve, you are not ugly. But we all glowed up, so there's all that. All people are are great. All people are great. All people are great. <laughs> <laughs> New slogan. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> like it just sounds like like I'm taking a clip. Um, and mending it together to make a statement, like a robot. Uh, like in Fairly Odd Parents, <laughs> like when Vicky does that recorder thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all people are great. <laughs> all people are great. Yeah. Great. I'm like, who am I? I don't know. Oh my God. It's, oh, so <laughs> I feel like earlier, like when we were coming up with some stuff for the channel or whatever, <laughs> I. <laughs> I said, uh, jank and ass. <laughs> and I was like, that's it. That's the slogan. That's the slogan. So, you know, we'll have, we'll have a dual slogan. One is, hey, this is jank and ass. And, <laughs> and the other one will be, all people are great. Yeah. So, uh, you'll get a mixed feeling there. Yeah. And that's what we're looking for. You, you don't want to be comfortable. You want to be excited. Yeah. <laughs> Slogan. Yes, also uh, very like, I don't know how I feel about that. I definitely don't know how I feel about that. You don't want to be comfortable. You want to be, be excited. excited. That's one of those, like, I, f- <laughs> I feel like that's such a good quote, though. You don't want to be comfortable. You wanna be- like horror movies. Oh, yeah. No, horror movies are the epitome of that. You don't want to be comfortable. You want to be excited, mm-hmm. which... I guess fear and excitement translate almost exactly the same, except one makes you feel worse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, we watched Anaconda. 1997, 97. Anaconda. Oh, we watched that last night, and you know, it has aged very well. Like, surprisingly enough, I thought that they would have some fucking bad sci-fi CG going on and so I was like oh man I can't wait to see this crap and then suddenly they had animatronics which I was like oh crap this is way better than I expected at all like I was expecting some very just contorted bad puppetry but instead I was pleasantly surprised at how well it aged yeah they they still a bad movie (laughs) 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to redeem it in my head, and I'm like, no, no, no. You can't, um, you can't if any white man approaches you in the jungle and somehow knows all about it, throw him off the boat. He go, go keep he, going. Yeah, he has nothing good in store for your journey. He is just out for himself. He knows nothing about the jungle. Since so some reason, he only knows about snakes. <laughs> okay, so. I, I, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the 97 <laughs> Anaconda <laughs> Anaconda movie. Okay, so you know how at the end, like, he's like, he's crazy about this Anaconda, right? He wants right. to kill it, right? Right. Well, I don't know. Does he want to kill it or capture it? But he also has a crossbow. Right. But my, my question is, for him, like, specifically, was <laughs> the whole reason that he hijacked the boat, got on there, and, like, used all the people on the boat, was that just because he wanted to kill an anaconda, become famous for it? Because he seemed like he was possessed by something. Um, so... I was actually trying to think of his character motivation as well because mm-hmm. he, you know, describes how he uh, got bit by the anaconda on the side of the face. Right. And I was like, okay, so is it a revenge plot? Is that what's going on? But then suddenly, when people want to attack the anaconda that they first come in contact with, he's like, no, don't hurt my baby. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you want from this? I don't understand what you're trying to accomplish here. Do you want to capture it? Do you want it dead? Because if you wanted it dead, let the people kill it. Right. Huh. People are great. <laughs> oh my God, damn it. But people are great. But that's what I'm saying. So even at the end, like I'm like, is he trying to capture it? I wonder. That's so weird. Also, funny, funny about last night when we were watching it. So um, in the movie, Miss J Lo, hello, Jenny from the block. She was in the movie. This is some old school J Lo, right? Hold on. Let me let me look something up because I want to I want to make sure that I say this right. Anaconda. Oh lord. <laughs> I hate I hate I love the tea. That's <laughs> okay, Nicki so, Minaj. <laughs> when you go to Google and you type in Anaconda, no longer does A the snake come up or B <laughs> the movie. But Ms. Nicki Minaj comes up and you know I'm 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 kind of okay with I that. love Nicki. Me too. But okay. So who's the okay, here's the cast and crew. Oh crap, are you gonna talk about what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay, so Ms. Terry Flores, played by the wonderful Jennifer Lopez, she uh Her name was Terry. <laughs> <laughs> we never knew. Yeah. We never knew. Okay. Um also Owen Wilson was in this movie. Crazy. Yes. Crazy. And he looks exactly the same as he does now. He really did. Mm-hmm. He did, he kind of looked like a weird, like kind of a shrunken version of of him, <laughs> but whatever. Frank Walken was the voice of the <laughs> Anaconda. <laughs> I am I am okay with that. Uh, okay, so who's the boyfriend? Is it? Uh, it's yeah, Doctor Stephen Kale. Okay, so Jenny from the Block, Terry Flores. <laughs> she is uh, she's she's smitten with Eric Stoltz's character, Doctor Stephen Kale, and they share her first kiss. And uh, I, I think that's. That's yes. what they say in the movie, right? Well, I mean, they don't say that. Like, we see them kiss, and we're like, her first kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. her first kiss. So I make a joke. I make a freaking joke that the old man who hijacks the boat, played by John Voight, um, his name in the movie is Paul Cerrone. Um, I'm like, oh, and there's her second kiss. And I'll throw up a picture of him so you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I was like, oh, yeah, here's the hot studly dude who she makes out with. But there's her second kiss. Well, turns out in a moment of what I can only assume is like sheer hysteria. She ends up in a room alone with him. Um, I know that she there's that she's trying to do it to like lure him. Yeah, so she's that trying to trick him to yeah. attack him. But, like, I know <laughs> she, like, puts her head on his chest, and then he, like, for, like almost forces her into a kiss. Yes. And I was so shook because I didn't remember that. I've seen this movie before, like, 20 years ago. I saw it, but I don't remember that. And I was like, I... I I called that an accident. It was very, very, very scary. It like, so it bad. might have been the most frightening part of the whole movie. Anaconda? I don't think so. John Boy on, <laughs> on, Jennifer, on Jennifer? No. Get off Jenny. Not my ship. <gasps> they were on a ship. 
they were on a boat. <laughs> but anyway, boat. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, no, it was very disturbing. Um, I am trying to think of a way to describe his character. Like I kept saying that he reminded me of Anthony Hopkins, um, Hannibal. Hannibal, yeah. <clears throat> but he uh, he is. I want to say I'm gonna guess this actor's features like in height and weight. Okay. So I want to say he's probably about let's say like six one ish, um, and probably in this movie 180 pounds. Okay. Um, he is so moist because of the fact it's in the Amazon. I don't like that. He is uh, half balding, and they, for some reason, thought it was a very pleasant idea to give him a rat tail. Oh, that's right. That's yes. Right, that's right. Um, and then he <laughs> he's wearing a gray shirt that perpetually gets soaked with sweat. That one's fun. Um, <laughs> I don't like that you said it's fun. And holy crap, I'm actually really close with his height. Yeah. He oh, my God. Nice. I was one inch off, by the way. He's 6'2". Yeah, Dang! Yeah, we looked it up. So, that's awesome. Um, oh and, oh my gosh! She's Angelina Dude. Jolie's dad? You know, my aunt would have known that, and she would have slapped me for not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> but That's so crazy. Yeah, so, and he also wears, like, cargo pants, and he just thinks he's he's the shit. He thinks he's great. Yeah. We just wanted to cut off. The rat tail, oh, the whole movie. If I was in that cast, I would have definitely gone for the rat tail. Yeah. Like, show that snake who's a snake. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he... Mm, that is really weird. He has a Twitter. I That's mean, really he's weird. a celebrity, so he has to have a Twitter. I guess. I mean, he has to. Where is Angelina Jolie's mom? Because... Where the fuck did she get her looks from? Okay, well let's let's look at Angelina. Let's see if she, it shows her mom. I know that her lips come from him because they are like the same. Marceline Bertrand. Ooh, she sounds pretty. Oh yeah. There yeah. Right okay. There. Yep. Yeah. She had hot mom. Yeah, she's a. She, she looks very similar. Yeah. So that makes sense. Good All job. Right. Okay, Good I can call. see the resemblance. <laughs> Literally, wow! Very pretty she woman. So pretty, even prettier than Angelina. Maybe, perhaps. Oh, they have Aww. hippie pictures of her. She looks so pretty. Her eyes look very intense. Oh God, I love them. Ooh, Ooh. vampy. <laughs> we're cool. We're we're just over here searching the crap out of we, Angelina. Jolie. We Good did job. the best we could. <laughs> People are great. <laughs> People are great. People are great. <laughs> Keep saying um, it. <laughs> it has to be true. I mean, some people are very terrible, but for the most part, people are great. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> another thing we attempted to watch last night was uh, Yakuza Apocalypse. Oh yeah, I think I have to. I have to find that. Yeah, I'm really upset because the version that we were attempting to watch was subtitle free for English speakers. <laughs> So they had Chinese subtitles, which I'm like, well, fuck, <laughs> I can't read that. But from the English description, which now I'm confused, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, was a Yakuza member that is also a vampire, and they bring on the apocalypse. It looks kind of fucking wicked, and I want to watch it. Dude, it would be so sick. I might actually, I might be able to find it. We'll oh, find it. What the hell? Come on now. So we'll get that once I do some stuff for sure we also watched <clears throat> what was it lake fear too oh my we didn't we God. did not watch it i should say that we didn't watch it no we did not watch lake fear 2 the, the swab, swab files <laughs> 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 okay so we click on this movie and honestly like the filming at the very beginning the very like beginning the freaking hint of maybe this couldn't be so bad is like a bunch of teenagers getting slaughtered Ooh, that's really gross not a lot of people like it but anyway then the movie cuts to like present day mm -hmm. like before all the shit goes down and as soon as I see the filming style then, I'm like how many tits do you think we're gonna see oh my god it was so good and then like <laughs> Konami is like um I don't know, but I bet we'll see a butt. Well, within the very first <laughs> 10 minutes, we see those exact things. I was not... Exp I really... Okay, so butt 
Sure. It's like they're on spring break, but I did not expect to see full on titties. Like right away. I mean, I thought maybe we would ease into the tits, but <laughs> that's not how it went at all. Instead, I was like, wait a minute. Were we like some sort of uh, like send on a wild goose chase where this is a Girls Gone Wild episode that they've labeled differently? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but instead, it was no, it was a really, really bad movie <laughs> where eventually we just fast forwarded through like half of it just to see if it was getting anywhere and it wasn't we were 50 minutes in like we, i fast forwarded it to 50 minutes in and no one had died yet i was like what is this movie is it just a bunch of talking or yeah i think um at near the end that they were like yeah smoking weed's fine and all the characters are still there yeah every single one and i'm like Okay, is the last 10 minutes, like, their experience was getting cut down? I am tired of waiting. <laughs> like, what was it? We thought that it was an alligator or something? I don't remember what the description said. But... In the synopsis of the movie at the beginning, before we, play, <laughs> before we pressed play, unfortunately, yeah. was a uh, man, like, ripping flesh alligators. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I, yeah, and I was, like, sick. I love alligators. But... It turned out it was some sort of, like, cult, wrong turn bullshit, and the only reason they said alligators is because they're common in the bayou. <laughs> in the bayou? <laughs> it's true. Oh, yeah, they were, in the flo- they were in Florida. Yeah, they were in some sort of swampy they mess. They were in the Everglades. <laughs> yes. That's so funny that you bring up wrong turn, too, because it's true. It's true. Like, it was, they were like, hey, you kids, you want to go out and uh, go to this I don't know, secluded area with a guy you've never met. And they're like, sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every single time you wonder, what was the other movie that we tried to watch? I know, like, they were all in a cabin in Russia or something. The Death Tree. Yes. It's or like, something like that. Very close to that. I just remember thinking. The Body Tree? Maybe that's what it was. Okay. But, like, we, we watched it. And maybe... Maybe we kind of seek these things out for ourselves, honestly. We like campy shit, but, like, it has to be kind of quality campy shit. It can't be none of the, none of this tits in the first ten minutes shit. But, like, I mean, tits are fine, but I'm just like, is this just a way to lure in more male viewers, possibly? And that's what I was saying last yeah. night, is I was like, um, first of all, with Body Tree, why the fuck do you just go places with people <laughs> you don't know? Like, and I'm not saying, like, let's explore like let's explore china with like a tour group or something these people are just like uh i have a friend of a friend who uh who knows the place oh oh my gosh that's such a good idea like we should totally go the cast is always like a group of really dumbass white people too because they're always like that sounds fine nothing can harm me (laughs) kaiju is white just just throw them i am white and i realize how fucking stupid we are (laughs) But like they're always like that. They're just yeah. like, oh, you know, a friend of a friend. Oh my gosh, do they have a car? Oh my god, we are totally going. Uh, let's go to Russia. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, hey, let's pick up a passport and go in the middle of the woods. Like, why'd you even get a passport? <laughs> and then they died. But then why? Okay, I know there's like probably a huge underlying like discussion about people like why are they sexualizing blah 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 but honestly in horror movies why why of all genres is there sexualization at all like you're you're gonna be like at the end of the movie seeing these people hacked the fuck up like why do you want to see their tits beforehand Um, I think in some cases it is very valid and it's actually works very well for the scene. Uh, Have you ever seen House of a Thousand Corpses by Rob Zombie? Yes, yes. yes. So, um, spoiler, everyone. Spoiler. (laughs) If you haven't seen this movie, turn back. (laughs) Um, But the movie is like pretty fucking disturbing. Mm -hmm. It has a wicked, nasty, uh, almost pseudo hillbilly family that lives like in a nasty ass, like junkyard campground in the middle of nowhere, like always. Um, Once again, a group of white kids (laughs) are like, this is a good idea. Like they always, and like the guy that even introduces them to the house is like, it's called the devil's playground. Like what? Why would you go there? No one wants to know where the devil is (laughs) unless you are the devil, but that was not a twist. No. Anyway, there is a part in it where I want to say the most scraggly haired motherfucker in the world. I want to say his name is Otis, right? Okay. He is holding 
cheerleaders hostage Mm -hmm. and before they die you also see them exposed Mm -hmm. but in that instance it's like for the reason of they were definitely like probably sexually assaulted right so So you're like so it's scary that's like why that's scary right um but there's some movies where you're like ah it's pretty unnecessary like i don't see why that would really hype up my (laughs) my fear factor but there's some times where you're like oh my god being absolutely nude would be horrifying and sometimes they're like oh no i'm now exposed and i'm going into the wilderness which is horrifying too so like in scenes of where it's like horror then that yeah. that makes sense to me but i think like in the beginning part where they're just like introducing characters oh, yeah. <laughs> why why i think of like the amityville horror i think it is okay where like the husband and the wife they're having sex right they're right. like and you're watching them get it on and you're just like oh okay well we're kind of like a voyeur voyeuristically like looking into this whatever and then all of a sudden like the like the scary like jump scare happens and you're just like oh god because that's genuinely scary to me is like you're seeing them in a very like vulnerable state doing something very like intimate and then all of a sudden this person just shows up out of nowhere this ghost right (laughs) so that that i totally understand that so that that makes a little more sense i just think that in some cases some of this shit is unnecessary just saying yeah no there's definitely parts of movies where i think it would not benefit the movie at all for Mm. certain parts but that's with like everything where i'm like that was stupid (laughs) people are great people are great um (laughs) but i just i'm very opinionated about movies like i think there's only certain movies i really really enjoy like and then there's a lot of mediocre movies to me and a lot of super just heinous movies where i'm like stop it like how do people get paid to do this it makes me frustrated that everyone makes so much money off a bad movie it's one of those i could do it moments literally we could probably do it i mean i know for a fact i couldn't direct or um produce but i know i could write a good movie I I I agree one hundred percent. She has some pretty delusional shit, but it's yeah. like it's pretty good though. It's good delusional shit. I mean, I have good ideas, so I'm sure they would need to be edited in some way, and I'm sure some like kid like me would be like, "Wow, that was completely unnecessary, you idiot!" Oh God, <laughs> oh my lord. So, damn. I thought this was going to be like difficult. Like no. not like not not difficult because like we talk for fucking ever anyway. But like for our first one, I kind of thought we'd be a little more like. Um. So hi guys, this is uh the Surfers podcast, and uh, I just wanna to, uh we uh we we play video games on this channel sometimes, <laughs> and uh it's, I really like I like. I like being on the internet and um <laughs> this is- like little mealy mouth <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> mealy mouth <laughs> bullshit. But I'm really glad that we were able to like I feel like this is such a good idea because we can literally just like very fluidly just go in and out of like subjects. It's because honestly, like I know I have better angles to view myself on so when i see myself on video and i just keep cranking back my head into a singular unit (laughs) i'm like wow that's pretty fucking ugly so i kind of um get worried about that Mm -hmm. but since it's just my voice i'm like i can make whatever face i want and no one needs to see it for now (laughs) totally Totally, totally. Well, I'm super glad that this worked out. We are, like, coming up on a full hour, which I'm, like, floored. We did it. We did it, and we didn't even have to try, so what, what? Right. So, should we make it a full hour? We have, like, um, six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured, like, uh, subject content-wise, we'll, we'll kind of tone it down now. Um, definitely, if you are one of the people that makes it this far... Holy crap. Thank you guys so much. Um, I know for myself, when I listen to podcasts, I will get lost in their conversation and I'll usually end up at the end. But there are some podcasts that I just kind of cut it off midway or I like go to the subjects um, because I'll I'll try and timestamp. That would be cool if I could like decipher where things are. That way people can jump to them. But like, thank you for giving our first podcast a listen. I think this is such a good idea. Honestly, 
I'm the type of person when I watch a YouTube video or start listening to anything, if it doesn't capture my attention the first four minutes, I'm out. We're screwed. <laughs> We're fucking screwed. Please, people, be great. Remember, <laughs> people are great. Exactly. So uh, keep listening because it'll help me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is our first podcast. I really appreciate you guys who did, like I said, made it, or we appreciate it. I really appreciate Kaiju for making the long fucking trek downstairs to uh, <laughs> roast to, to roast um, on this hot ass day. Um, and yeah, we're this seems like such a good idea. I, I hope that this is something that we can keep up. And um, if not, I mean, at least we had a fun time talking for an hour. Also, Becky and Frazier, if you are listening, w- hey, you Hello. guys, are, you, you moved to Japan. You, they moved to Japan? Yeah, they moved to Japan. Oh, I'm fucking out of the loop. So um, we'll miss you. God. We'll oh, yeah, you. we're going to miss you this year. You yeah. won't be at PAX. Yeah, but... That's stupid. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, thank you uh, to you guys. You know, you asked, and this is our answer. So we're still alive. We're still here. Oh, yeah. I am barely living, but I am able to talk. What a bad combo. Oh, Can you God. imagine, like, <laughs> like you get, like, a... Okay, like, if you get an Android, and <laughs> they don't do much of anything but talk, and you're like, shut the fuck up. Up. <laughs> that's what you program me for no no i bought you and you're defective and they won't take you back <laughs> like, Ooh, those return policies are bullshit <laughs> all right guys so um that is it uh, yeah. for this podcast until next time you or before we finish obviously we would like it if you liked this video to like it and subscribe to our channel uh to keep up on all things kko as well as hit that notification bell so that you guys can listen to more of whatever the hell this is yes um maybe we'll have a pax review we would actually be able to do an actual yep. PAX review. Like in a real PAX review, not one that we just like to make up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, you can find me on my social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch TV at my name, Konami underscore I. That's I like AI. Um, and Kaiju Caro, she's floating around the internet yeah i'm (laughs) yeah i'm pretty much a phantom or it could be a ghost and maybe there's not two people here maybe 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 konami has a dual voice that's fucked up that's so much work Uh, that would be a lot of work but pretty amazing (laughs) so cool (laughs) if i like if i could interact with myself i would like that good i would never i'd never need a co-host i'd just be my own all right. All right. Well then, uh, uh, so, that, <laughs> so that's it for this episode. Um, until next time, this is Konami I and Kajikero, and this has been Hi K O. Bye. Bye. Oh, People are great. People are great. Yes, I get it. It's fifty-eight minutes. People are great. <laughs>